Hello YouTube! In this video we will repair Mitsubishi Colt board computer screen. This is often an issue on this model of the car. You can replace board computer with other used one or even new one, but it is cheaper if you repair your existing unit. Of course, with used replacement unit you risk to have some issue sooner or later, so I would strongly suggest that you repair your existing one. Let's start with screen disassembly. On the housing there are 6 clips, 3 on each side, that you need to press while gently pulling housing apart. I just pressed them from left side to right side while gently applying force. My screen was already disassembled previously by someone else, so it was very easy to split. You can also use small screwdriver to press clips if your fingers are not enough. With removal of front part, we get access to two Phillips head screws. Remove them using Phillips head screwdriver and pull out circuit board from the remaining black plastic piece. Main culprit on those Mitsubishi called board computers is chip on the back of the board. Legs of the chip are from the factory glued with rubbery yellow glue. I removed that glue carefully with isopropyl alcohol and toothbrush. But guys, do not wash your teeth with it after using it for cleaning circuit boards. Some residue from the glue was really hard to remove. So I used sharp tweezers very gently to clean in between pins of this surface mount chip. This exact board computer was already badly fixed by someone else and deemed unrepairable. You can check with multimeter if legs of this specific chip have good connection with circuit board. In my case there were some loose connections and solder joints from previous repair were horrible as someone soldered over the glue mentioned previously. I did not record soldering process, but if you want some soldering tutorial, just drop comment under this video and I will make it happen. General tip is that you should use good amount of flux while soldering and leaded solder wire. Do not breathe fumes produced by soldering, as it is bad for your health. After soldering, you should visually inspect if there are some bridges between the legs of the chip. I also used multimeter to test all legs of the chip for shorts and also if they have good connection to circuit board. After all tested and looking better than factory, I tested board computer with bench power supply. Voltage should be 12 volts DC. I borrowed some picture from the internet and added pin out for bench test. Pin 7 and 8 should be positive lead and pin 15 negative. As I did not have such nice cables as shown in the picture, I soldered wires directly to the circuit board. Turn power supply on and clock should be visible on the screen. Screen backlight should also be glowing. I would just like to add other occasional failure points that I found on the internet. It could be bad solder joints between connector and circuit board or bad solder joints on another chip. To access this chip you should remove vertical board. This can be done with removal of two additional screws on the bottom and unsoldering metal plate at two top points. With this whole vertical board can be removed. Now unsolder wires that were used for test and you are good to go. Clean any residue from the circuit board and screen from the fingerprints. Assemble the screen and you can move to the car to test it. Works like a charm. In my case after plugging connector in and turning the key to first position to power it up. Mounting the screen to the car is quite easy. Middle part of the dashboard should be removed. It simply unclips with help of some old cart and screwdriver. 
take a note here that force should be applied in horizontal direction and not vertical to pop clips that hold this part in place. Plug the screen in, fasten it down with screws, reassemble all plastic parts and enjoy your board computer. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.